Good morning. So we're going to be making um, an art piece inspired by Keith Haring to celebrate uh, World Kindness Day. Uh, World Kindness Day is next Friday, November 13th. Um, and I thought Keith Haring would be a great artist to look at when talking about kindness. Um, so I'm going to show you one of his paintings. So as you can see from um, Keith Haring's painting, they're very colorful and there's um, these uh, colorful characters made of these like thick bold lines um, and these expressive little black lines that kind of show like movement. Um, and his pictures usually make you very happy because of the bright colors and then these characters are obviously faceless, like they have no expression. Um, and you don't know the color of their hair or the color of their skin or what clothes they have on. Like they're, they're identifiable to anybody because of the way that they're just these simple outlined figures um, made up of all different colors. So it makes us as an audience look at the picture and think like, oh, that could be me and that could be my friend um, because it, the figures could really be anybody. Um, and they're these childlike, you know, like kind of somewhat easy to draw um, figures. So um, I made this very simple art piece inspired by the painting you saw where I just have two friends who are like holding hands and the little lines are just expressive of their friendship um, and being happy and excited together. So we're just going to make, I'm going to make a similar drawing to that and then you're welcome to draw the Keith Haring figures um, in any way that you want that, um, you know, could show somebody being kind to somebody else. So it doesn't have to just be holding hands. It could be, um, you know, two friends, uh, a friend helping each other or playing together. Um, so any way that you would like to show kindness, and it doesn't have to be friends. It could be, um, a, you know, a child and their parents or uh, grandparents. So whatever kind of picture you would like to draw to show kindness, um, I'd love to see you draw it in the style of Keith Haring. So the way that I draw the figures, I did them in pencil real quick just in case I had to erase, but I'm gonna go over in Sharpie. So I kind of start with this simple like curve line for the head. And again, Keith Haring has these really thick black lines outlining his figures and everything else. So um, it almost gives it this like cartoon, like animated look. So I'm gonna use my Sharpie to to make those thick black lines. So you can use a, a black marker or a crayon or colored pencil, but the thick black line is important because it shows, um, you know, it gives it that animated look that, that we talked about. So um, again, just the simple head shape. And then you know the arms which could be bent like at the elbow like this one is bent at the elbow or it can be straight and just a very simple um, almost like wearing a mitten you know that kind of hand where you don't even have to draw any fingers and then you draw like the torso simple feet and I, I made the legs kind of like bend also um, so there's my two figures, and then I'm just having them, the background is very simple. Most of Keith Haring's backgrounds are very simple. Um, they're usually colorful, they might have a pattern. And then um, these expressive lines that we talked about, um, they're a big part of, of Keith Haring's um, style. And he usually kind of has like a short one with a long one and a short one with a long one. Um, and it just kind of, it almost gives the picture like um, like a movement and like a rhythm um, that you know you can like feel the excitement of the people based on their um, you know that those those lines. So I'm just gonna erase any extra pencil, and then to kind of differentiate the floor from the wall, I'm just gonna make a simple pattern. So like in this example, I did polka dots. So I might just do stripes. In this one. Um, so 
So again, these are nice and simple, but also really fun and I think really beautiful. Um, and I like how, you know, they make you happy. It makes me happy. So you want to think about as an artist, you know, how do you want your artwork to make somebody feel when they look at it? Um, okay, and then I just simply colored mine in, so I'm going to do that on a time lapse. Here's my um, finished art pieces. So they're, oops, the lights went off in my room. Oops. Um, so uh, again, this is an art piece inspired by Keith Haring. Um, just a simple drawing, but I think it, it promotes kindness and I wanted something that would help people to feel kindness um, and what it might look like. Um, so I thought this would be a great art piece to show that. So again, your character can be doing whatever you want. They don't have to just be holding hands. Um, if you'd rather them be playing together, or helping each other, um, or, you know, the one picture that we looked at of Keith Haring's where they're like dancing, you know, that's all, um, that's all great ideas too. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this project and I can't wait to see your artwork. Have a good day.